Well, it's safe to say, Universe, that the uh, leaks look very real. <laughs> the uh, the leaks turned out to be quite real, and I'm very ha I'm not surprised, but like at the same time, I'm still hyped. Now, obviously, yes, this is going to be me talking about um, the Shang Tsung gameplay as well as the reveal for the DLC characters. Well, the first few, as well as the, like I said, Shang Tsung gameplay. And, oh boy, did Shang Tsung bring it. Now, obviously, yes, Kerry Degawa did come, is reprising his role as Shang Tsung, and he's actually did the facial recognition, like the, fa the motion capture for the face. Um, I gotta say, I really dug that they did, I thought they were gonna go with old Shang from the crypt, but then they surprised everybody by making him younger. So that was a neat little trick. I really did uh, like that. Um, the other thing that surprised me was just how fast of a summoner he could be. Like, just how quick he is with using those flaming skulls, as well as, you know, switching in between characters. And what I mean is, he's literally switching in between the other, the other ninjas. He is literally switching between Reptile, Rain, Smoke, and Ermac. Uh, just consistently. And it makes me wonder, I wonder if they, if there's a move where you can play as Kenshi, because Kenshi is dead, and in the crypt, Shang did say that he consumed Kenshi's soul. So I'm wondering if he, if there's a move in there somewhere, or maybe not, I don't know, that is, um, that you can use for Kenshi. The Fatal Blow is really cool. Um, I know, for those who are unaware, um, C-Dubs, his favorite character is Shang Tsung, and it was mostly because of Kerry Degao's performance in the first Mortal Kombat movie that made him such a fan of that character. So I'm pretty sure Dubs is, um, Dubs is quite happy with this Shang Tsung gameplay, um, and the fatality. Oh my god. Um, I literally was like, holy shit. I was watching the video, I was like, holy shit, because literally, he has the Kintaro break out of your body. Oh my god, I can't even wait to see the second fatality. I I am very, uh, as not someone who doesn't really play as Shang Tsung in his main, I may have to give Shang Tsung a couple plays. Gonna be straight with you guys, I may have to give Shang Tsung some uh, playthroughs. Now, the other thing was, it very much looks like the person who data mined the game looks like, yeah, the leaks turned out to be true because the next co characters for the combat pack are going to be Nightwolf, Sindel, Spawn, and two more guest characters, which judging by the chainsaw sound, it is Ash. Now you may be wondering, but DPZ, uh, you know, Bruce Campbell said he wasn't going to be in Mortal Kombat. No. Remember what he said very carefully. Bruce Campbell said Ash from Evil Dead isn't going to be in Mortal Kombat. He didn't say anything about Army of Darkness, Ash. Because that's actually, interestingly enough, and you're probably wondering, well, what's the difference? Is the same Ash? Not necessarily. You see, the army, the rights to Army of Darkness are under a different set of rights. The movie rights for that character are under a different uh, studio. Whereas, you know, everyone has to use Evil Dead. That's why we have Dynamite Comics that use a different set of rights for Army of Darkness. So, yeah. Army of Darkness and Evil Dead kind of have... Um, different movie rights. So hence why that we see, we don't really get a lot of mention to Army of Darkness and Ash vs. Evil Dead or anything else Evil Dead related because it's, the movie's not under um, Sam Raimi's control, really. So that's the big thing. Any, but yeah, so it's probably going to be not Ash from Evil Dead, but Army of Darkness version Ash, which was funny, which is fine by me. I mean, Ash is Ash, no matter what you're going to say, no matter what. And it's weird because Army of Darkness was the first Evil Dead movie I saw in that franchise. So in a weird way, I watched the movies backwards. Yeah, I actually watched the movies backwards. I watched Army of Darkness first, then Evil Dead 2, and then finally watched Evil Dead. It's a weird progression of darkness and dark comedy, isn't it? <laughs> Anywho. So, I'm really uh, excited to see, so it makes me, uh, that yeah, the other combat, the other guest character, it leaves me wondering, who is going to be that next guest character, um, because we, if the leaks are true, then the other ones are obviously going to be, the other ones are Joker, Terminator, and, um, yeah, Joker and Terminator are the other one, because we did get Spawn. Yeah, Spawn is our... I was thinking, I'm missing one. Oh yeah, Spawn already got revealed. You know, fucking A. 
So the so yeah, I can't wait to see what Spawn does. Even though I'm not a big Spawn guy, I can't help but be like, yeah, Spawn's in Mortal Kombat. That like, in a weird way, because Spawn and Mortal Kombat were the two biggest things of the 90s. If you wanted to be extreme, you know, you had to be with Spawn or, you know, awesome games with extreme, you know, that could be really intense, you went with Mortal Kombat. So I find it kind of funny that the two biggest things of the 90s are finally coming together. And, yeah. Um, like I said, I'm not the biggest Spawn fan, but it, but the more I think about it, I was like, I kind of want to see what happened. I want to see his movesets, <laughs> honestly. Um, I'm also really excited to see how they're going to play Terminator, if, the, again, the leaks are true. And again, with Joker, um, who I'm like, did we really have to get Joker? Like, did, I mean, there were so many other DC character, DC villains that we could have used um, in here that made me go, well, couldn't we have gotten another Joker, you know, couldn't we have gotten, um, like, Lobo? Because Lobo, I think, would have been the perfect choice for Mortal Kombat. For any DC character, it should have been Lobo. Um, if not him, then my second pick would have been the Batman Who Laughs, who's pretty much Joker with Batman. You can't have Batman, but you can have a Joker Batman. Yeah, that, that's a perfect loophole right there, if you ask me. So it looks like, yes, the leaks are pretty much true. I... I know I'm. I'm still gonna hold out surprise. I mean, I can't wait to see these trailers, and I want to. I mean, yeah, we at this point we probably know what the game characters are, but at the same time, you know, I want to see what they look like. I want to see what they can do. I want to see all the characters in here. Um, of course, we still have Fujin, and I think there's a few other characters from Mortal Com from the Mortal Kombat side, and uh, that we're missing for the DLC. Um, Anywho, like I was saying, also we get some clarification in here for um, for the 19 character slots. It turns out those weren't character slots; they're 19 uh, skins, and some of those are the classic arcade skins, which we which were revealed. So yeah, I know a lot of people are saying, "Oh, it looks like 19 more desk, you know, 19 more characters from Mortal Kombat." I was like, uh, maybe," but I, at the same time, I was like. Mm. This feels a little more like character skins, and that part of me was right, which I'm fine with. Um, I kind of figured we'd get more character skins for all these characters, so makes sense. Anywho, uh, so, so yeah, uh, we again the leaks were true, but hey, it's not you know it's it's a it's a thing we already know of, but hey, I'm cool with it all the same. So you guys tell us here at Comic Universe, what do you guys think of the first combat pack, and what did you guys think of Shang Tsung's gameplay? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Um, what are you hoping, you know, the, the move sets for Sindel and Nightwolf and Spawn are? And who do you think they'll reveal along uh, the next two guest characters? Obviously from the chainsaw sound, it does sound like Ash. But who do you think they're going to reveal next? Joker or Terminator? Um, alongside uh, good old Bruce Campbell. Anyway, so if you're new here, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's Mario subscribers. I'm DPZ, and on behalf of everyone here, we will see you next time in the universe.